generic greetings and welcome to Cosmatea, Starship, Architect and Commander. That's a bit of a mouthful and speaking of which, today's beverage is... A very nice and indeed very decadent strawberries and cream milkshake. Very nice indeed. So welcome to Cosmatea. This has a fairly accurate subtitle and it gives you an idea of what you're going to be doing. You will be building and commanding a starship. You'll either start off in a sandbox mode where you build from scratch or in the campaign mode where you get given a little ship, maybe of your design but maybe default, and then you have to explore and fight and mine and trade and just find your place in the galaxy as well as building up your ship, so adding corridor pieces and different weapons and subsystems and engines and all of that kind of thing. It's a game I've played for about an hour and a half, so first impressions here, and it is an early access, so the typical disclaimers apply, you know, nothing you see is final, everything's subject to change. There's a roadmap, and I will put a link in the description for the game. This is not a sponsored video, I did pick this up myself and have been uh, fairly amused with it for, let's say, the hour and a half that I've played. Uh, version 0.2.0.5 underscore Steve if you're interested in the exact build. There is a multiplayer mode, but I've not yet tried it. I'm just going to go to New Game, and we'll go to the career mode, which is Build, Fight, and Scavenge to become a legendary Cosmetea while exploring the galaxy. So, we are going to go with difficulty of default, same as the economic stuff. You have, you've got more advanced options if you want to uh, <laughs> add in. Hmm. I hate exploring, or I hate salvaging, apparently. You can change the seed, and if you want, obviously, a more difficult game, then you can do all of that. We have some default options. So we've got the Model L, which is a highly maneuverable and sports three laser blasters that are effective at destroying enemy subsystems, lacks any significant defense. Basically, it's um, it's got all of its guns on the front. We've got a Model C, which is slow and well-armed, with two cannons that are inaccurate but penetrate into enemy ships. So there's the cannons on the front there. And then finally, Model S, which is a trade speed and offensive firepower for a defensive shield generator that can block remain, uh, in remaining? Well, incoming and indeed remaining enemy fire. So I think we're going to go with that. You can indeed load a custom ship if you were to save one, but well, that will do for now. So start a new game and we will load into what is a randomly generated map, I believe. I'm going to check when we jump in. So just have a quick look. And yes, indeed, it's been. We've been placed in the Kappa. Uh, Sintuvio with difficulty 1 to 3 uh, owned by Fringe Systems Resistance and you can see there is quite a big map here that gets quite difficult that's ranging from difficulty 12 to 14 but anyway back to the main game here on the top left we have obviously options for how to control your ship and play and I do find the tutorial is really really good actually it introduces the game to you in stages and is very helpful especially for a title that is in early access uh, time controls on the top right money and reputation on the uh, sorry, uh, time controls on the top, uh, money and reputation on the top right. Bottom right, we have our mini map, and obviously, we can scroll around away from our ship, and in fact, quite a ways. We can basically zoom out to the entire system if you want to, which is very handy. Uh, we can also then press this button to, uh, yeah, hang on, that's a marker. We don't want that. I was going to say we can click that to get back to our ship. Uh, bottom left is all the options for things like, well, construction, so we'll get onto this later on where you can add different things. Uh, Colouring the ship so we can change it to, say, I don't know, maybe this colour in, uh, say, a red colour. Let's go for like a, let's go for a Babylon 5 non-hyperspace camo look. Oh yeah, that's probably what we're talking about there. I'll make it just a bit of a yellow thing. Why not? And then we've got options for like direct control mode because normally when you control it, it's literally to right click and the ship will move. You can also hold right click and it'll orientate that as well. You can uh, go for direct control mode, which is like, as you might imagine, just using W, S, and D, and then you can fire the guns, and... Oh, yeah, I've just... Uh, <coughs> that's maybe not uh, that. I've just fired the guns, and I don't know what would happen if I hit the small, at the moment, friendly cannon platform. We've also got options for our crew management and resources as well. But the main thing is we go over to Hale, and we're going to hail the station, which is just to the south of us. And we've got a fugitive bounty. So a fugitive cartridge-class vessel is wanted for illegal activities within this system. Authorities of the Monolith Corporation have posted a bounty of 5,000 generic units of currency for any cosmetier that can eliminate it. Danger level is one. Objectives is to eliminate it. We gain 5 grand, uh, 14 fish. I said reputation, but it's a similar thing. Uh, and then, oh, monolith corporate reputation. So that's like personal 
reputation. It is fame, I guess. Yeah, go on. We'll call it that. We should really call it what it is. And then Monmouth Corporation, it's based on who you're doing it for. But let's accept that job. And then we'll have a quick look on the... I've got to press M for map, but that's M's for move. And it's over here. So this is the target area. It could be anywhere within this location. So I'm just going to right-click there. And what will happen is the ship will head over that way. So taking a closer look at our ship, these are the corridors here. We've got doors as well. Uh, the engines on the back and the thrusters on the side. We have two laser blasters and a small shield generator. We can also hold alt as well to give us detailed listings on the blasters and obviously on the, well anything basically. You've also got hyperdrives and storage and many different weapons and subsystems and this is just in the game at the moment. I think there's also, well I know there's a lot more planned on the roadmap, things like boarding and I don't know if stealth's going to be in the game but I would hope so because I I am a fan of stealth. Oh, look at that. We're actually uh, decelerating, so we're using maneuvering thrusters to stop that. And where is that guy gone? He's gone. He's over here, maybe. Is this them? Mm, no. I don't know where it is. So, oh, they've been destroyed. Do you know what's happened, I think? This guy's been going past. <laughs> I think... Is that them there? That might be them there. It is. Cartridge. They've probably been going past doing some nefarious things, and that other ship's blown them up. So we've got some emergent gameplay going on here. Right, so it says eliminate. They're not actually technically dead, so I can, um, I can target them. Although, no, because they've surrendered, I can't actually destroy them. That's a bit of a shame. Well, what we'll do is go to gather, and we're going to salvage all of these materials. So there's some, uh, some plates and some hyper coils, and that'll just, uh, yeah, help us... Uh, build up and repair and such. So all of our cosmeteers, cosmonauts, guys in spacesuits, are going to go outside and do an EVA, grab the resources, and then bring it back. The resources are now shown on the right-hand side what we have in storage. Well, that was <laughs> a fairly easy mission, wasn't it? So we should probably head back and actually do one where you can see combat because, well, that is... Uh, one of the fun parts in the game. Let's just go over to here. And this is actually not a bad ship in terms of its speed, but I think it's only good in speed because basically it's not very big and it's not very heavily armed either. We... The way it works is the the small reactor core produces plasma batteries and then the crew take those plasma batteries to where they're needed. So you've got like them in, basically they'll, they'll come on and just put them in the engines there and then in the side there, yeah, they just take it to where it needs to go. So you not only need access to these things, basically every, every system requires power and sometimes it requires people, some people actually to to do the job there. Over to uh, hailing here and we will once again hail the station and we will receive payment on that one. Let's pick up another one which is it says eliminate toothpick and it's just up to our north here. Let's hope that this one is <laughs> less passive perhaps. You can see that there are other unknown contacts around which could be different ships or um, asteroids or random... Ooh. There's an, there's a random enemy contact, so it says unknown, but it is a hostile contact. Let's have a look over there and see what the deal is. So this is not the one that we are supposed to be targeting, but our sensors have detected it. And there's loads coming towards this location. Okay, so I'm going to get to here and pause it. And it is a, it's a light laser platform. I don't know why that is there. Let me just turn around. I have no interest in fighting it, but it is actually fighting me, so we're going to have to spin around. So, put the front towards enemy, because we do have the shield, and we can see the shield is taking the shots there. Now, once you've targeted an enemy, the ship will automatically go towards it and do whatever it needs to do. So, it's going to engage in its like, ideal range and manoeuvre around and such. Yes, you can turn on manual control if need be, but it, it's going to do its own thing. But once you've targeted this, you can then select parts of this. So, I can select, say, the small reactor core to try and drill down and take that thing out. So, I'll unpause it here. We can see that... Ah, very clever. So, it's taken damage, considerable damage to this side. So, it's rotated, so it's no longer exposing the... 
I was going to say no longer exposing the, the vital parts, but what actually happened is um, it exploded. So I'm going to go over to, we can see on the left-hand side here, build and repair is now in red because we need to repair all. And actually, that's pretty good. I noticed that there's not much to repair, and that's mainly because of that shield. So that's helped us out. Okay, back to here, and we're going to go for gather resources, and I'm just going to gather all of those. I've also selected gather resources over here. Now you can see there's these crystals. Those are essentially jump fuel, which we may be able to get, but I don't have a mining list, so I'm not too sure. You can build and probably will, will want to make massive ships that have weapons and crew quarters and good engines and also refineries and you can set up you can set up like routes for a lot of your like let's have a quick look so where is it it's uh ammo storage and that's missile blueprints no we don't have any of that you can set up yeah like conveys and stuff moving walkways uh, there's sensors and tractor beams different structure modules uh yeah this is to build stuff yeah, this is all construction stuff. And in indeed, in storage, you can go, you know what, right, in this area, I only want to store, say, coils, or I want to just score, like, have metal. So you can set up on bigger ships, and probably you want to set up on bigger ships, uh, specific areas for the loot that you've just got. While they're building this, I'm going to... I'm going to expand the ship, and you can see it doesn't take much to expand the ship. You literally just click and drag. Um, I'm going to put on mirroring here, and this will, again, mirror what we're doing. Sort of clues in the title, really, isn't it? And using some of these resources. What am I think? What what we're thinking for for the ship? A three-way thruster? <laughs> would that be of some use? Right-click to turn it round. Oh, that would give us a lot more manoeuvrability. Yeah, we'll put that there. Why not? In fact, I'm going to drag it down to... No, I can't. I can only put it there. So that's going to go there. Uh, you can add doors as well. So, as I said, in the roadmap, I think there's talking, like, getting boarded, uh, fires, decompression, a lot more than what's currently in, in this build. So, as always, I've um, basically took a design that was quite interesting and turned it into basically a, a primitive shape, <laughs> which uh, is a thing. And who's this? Those are not our crew. All of our crew are on board. Hmm, curious. Anyway, let's head towards our contact, which is... This wasn't our contact. This is just what's happened. That's alright. That's our contact, I think. And we found... Ooh, a cannon station. So, target the small reactor. It's going to rotate towards us. So, let's see. Oh, there we go. We've got... I'm going to speed. I'm going to slow it down to a quarter speed, which I think is nice. We've got our shield that is absorbing the shots. Haven't spoken much about the way it looks. Uh, I don't know really what to say. It's old school, but it's quite nice. Quite like it. I like some of the, uh, the fire fire effects. Oh, that reactor's almost gone. One more hit, surely. There it goes. And we don't even have to repair. Wow. We don't have to repair. Let's do gathering on all of that, but I have a feeling we won't be able to gather it all simply because of the sheer amount of it. However, we can fix that problem. We can go to building and to corridor. And we're going to add in... What's the best thing to add in? Mm, it's going to be storage in it. It's storage, but we need, ironically, we need more stuff to build the storage. <laughs> so I guess we'll have to just build one of these and put it there. There we go. It's already put in some doors, so there's a doorway there and doorway there. I don't think we need really any of the doorways. But that should hopefully allow us to collect more of this stuff. We can see that the uh, crew is <laughs> on an EVA mission and tearing this thing apart. Whatever's left of it. I believe it is a one-to-one -one ratio for, especially when you're, well, when you're doing your building and removing stuff and adding, it is a straight-up one-to-one -one you get back what you, if you add and remove stuff, you get everything back. It's not that you get partial stuff back, I believe. 
there is an option for recall crew, so immediately bring them back from EVA. That's a case you'll get like getting bored or someone charging at you or whatever. And ooh, that's a that's a ranged or flanged fighter. It's also very very damaged. That's the reactor in the middle, and I can see into it from the outside. That's that's not normally something you want. Oh, there we go. We see the crew are actually suffering some uh, from lack of O2 because they've been out doing out doing uh, EVA for so long. This is also flashing red, the front bits, because they're out of power, the front one, and this is out of crew. It needs crew, so it is telling us that. Let's uh, go back to building and probably move stuff down and around, I guess, because we can. And I'm tempted to add in... Can we add in more engines? We can. The problem with doing this, though, is we can see that when I place it there, we've got the red lines f coming from the reactor. It shows that that is like, yeah, it's quite a ways away. Nearest power is 11. So we can place them. The game will happily allow us to do that, but it's not ideal. So there would be better for them. On the right-hand side, it shows us our command points, basically the size of the ship. You increase command points using various uh, methods added cockpits and things and bridges you've got the crew which is currently six of six however it's recommending we go to about nine no, exactly nine and then there's our power which is 1.5 and suggested is 1.4 so we're fine on power but we're not fine on crew and as you may imagine adding crew at this stage wouldn't help because we're just adding the capability for having crew not actually adding crew so there is our target we can see it's got the star above it let's go ahead and right click on that and see what we can see. Oh, actually, no, let's stop here because we're still waiting for the shield generator to power up and, quite frankly, the one thing I want is to have shields because this thing doesn't really fare too well without it, I would imagine, anyway. So, heading towards the target, we can see, oh, we're already engaged and it's already, it's already immediately, I wouldn't say crippled, but it's hurt. It's turning to run away, which means... Well, which means boom. Oh! Oh, that's that's actually... Yeah, that's actually some uh, some people in spacesuits. That's a bit morbid and brings it to more of a reality. Okay. Um, let's pick over the bones then, I guess. Do they just disappear in time? They're still there. Huh. I mean, if they're being exposed, they'll, they'll just float forever onwards. Hmm. Anyway, moving on. Quarters. Let's place some quarters in... I don't think we need two quarters, do we? Do we need two sets of quarters? No. I will use bunks, though. And that would work, but it's removed the dot of there. So I just need to add a dot then, dot of there. Oh, hang on. There's no way into this thing then. Okay, so I'll have to do that, followed by maybe shift this about. There you go. That fixes the problem. Excellent. We've got 105 steel, 39 coils, and 27 hyper coils. And what I've noticed is the economy is a bit different from this ship than the other ones I've made because this has got a shield generator, which means, well, we don't take no, well, we've hardly taken any damage at all, which means we're not using the resources that we're gathering to repair stuff. I think I do want to up armor this thing as well. I'm thinking, oh, do we need to up armor it? No, we got armor and shields. We need to up arm it. Anyway. Let's head back. Let's go back to there. Back to our station. But we've only been around this little bit. There's a lot more to explore. There's a hyper jump relay to the Alpha Futsum. Another one over there. It's basically how it work goes. So it's going to go galaxy map down to there. But I really don't want to go there. <laughs> Difficulty 9 to 11. That's, that's not going to work out too well for us at all. So we'll see what blueprints we can get. I'm just going to speed it to max speed while we head back and we're back. 
So we'll have a cheeky hail of the station and see what they've got to say. And hand in that bounty. We've now gained some more money. And indeed, our reputation has gone up with the Monolith Cooperative and also our fame as well. So we need to get some more people. And we can see the different people here. They don't currently have any stats as far as I can tell, but they do have levels, which we... Oh, that's the required amount of fame. So we're going to hire that person, that person, that person, and that person. So they should have gone straight into the red shirts, yep. Yeah. So this is this is a bit more advanced now, where you can set up... This is your roster, and basically what they're up to. You can select and edit the role, and you can change the colour, and change job priorities across the entire ship. So if you want, say, the red shirts to be the laser guys, then you can do all of that. But then you might want to set up another one, which is uh, the blue shirts, and then their job priorities is uh, shields. It's only doing shields and the flak batteries and the defensive side of it. So there's there's that there. Um, so it's it presented as a simple thing, but you, then you can start doing some more advanced stuff. Similar for, let's say, storage. Um, I want to store... So actually, I don't really need to move anything, but... Oh, there's the crystals there. So I can move these over and say, right, I only want the crystals to be stored in that area, so that's where they're going to be. Um, so I can say that is now crystals. You can move stuff around, but also designate it as, just say, right, Hyperium, it always gets stored there. And it's actually been mirrored others. <laughs> I didn't realise the mirror also works on that one, which is pretty good. And then you have supply chain mode where you can set up transfers and stuff. Yeah, a lot more advanced things. But look, we don't need that for now. What we do want to do is have another quick chat with the space station and see what blueprints they have. So blueprints, they've got a heavy plasma blaster. Ooh, nice. A disruptor. Five bolts of electrical energy that deal little damage but short circuit enemy systems causing them to lose power. Can penetrate shields while draining them. And you've got things like an ion beam emitter and a prism and a mining laser. Oh, mining laser. Um, you know what? I'm going to unlock that because I've, I've uh, I thought it might be all right for, for this thing. And we've got deliveries and exploration. I'm going to go with this fugitive bounty and accept that one. And what other things can we get? We don't really want cannons. There's missile launchers, which is good. We've got a... L Ooh. We don't have a large shield generator, but we do have that. Uh, standard shield generator and flak battery. Powerful defensive systems that can destroy enemy missiles, lasers, and projectiles. Really? Can destroy missiles? Let's unlock the cannon and then a flak battery, and that's us. We're not fully spent out, but... Uh, there's a small hyperdrive as well. We'll grab that while we're here. But yeah, that's probably where we're at. Explosive charge. Maybe not. So over the building, and we have crew 10. It suggests we have 9, so we're over that one. We've got a flak battery, which is which is absolutely massive. <laughs> I didn't realise the size of it. Okay, it says defensive system. I'm hearing um, cannon of the end times. Right, let's instead go with a hyperdrive then, which it'll go there perfectly fine. We want to check out what else. Power's fine. Um, a mining laser, which will go... I mean, where would a mining laser fit in? This is where we might not have to have this as a as a symmetrical ship. One of the ships I made was a weird one. It was almost a crescent. So it would start from up here and curve right round like that and then curve back. So it was almost like a teardrop ship, but sort of pushed off to one side. Oh, look at this. There's another ship docking. Nice. <laughs> right. Let's get the mining laser in. I'm going to... I don't know what I'm going to do. Actually, I'm going to have to move this thruster down. I don't think it can go there. No, it can't. We're going to have to put the thruster on. Actually, can I put the mining laser on the back? No power access. No, it needs to be closer to the front. We could put it on the side. Have a mining laser on the side. I mean, it makes sense that you want a mining laser. Tell you what, I'll get rid of that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ditch it. I'm gonna ditch them, and we'll extend with the corridor. Let's maybe go uh, symmetry here, and have that. And again, I'm just making a cube. I'm aware. Uh, mining laser. We guess we could put it on the front. Mm. And there it is. We have a mining laser on the front. And we can put our three ways back on. No, we can't. Insufficient funds. But we do have a mining laser. Is that facing the right way? It is facing the right way. How strange. Anyway, let's go to our bounty then. And it is over here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for 
as we're heading out. Any any asteroids? I really want a sensor. Um, oh, there's a, they're perfect. So this is an asteroid with some of those crystals on there. So I want to mine those, which means hopefully... Are we, are we able to... Let me turn this round. Are we able to mine? Do we need to mine that? Or can they just head off and get it? Hmm. And also, why does that say recall crew? Mining laser. It is on. Target. I wonder what the problem is. Do you need to be closer? No, I'm literally pushing the asteroid at this stage. <laughs> I didn't realise you could push the asteroid, but apparently, yes, you, you can. Okay. Let's come around the side of it. There we go. That was mining for a second then. Was it just a distance thing? We've definitely got people on it. I think we just need to be closer. Come on. Spin around. Spin around. Alright, back up a bit. Now turn. Back up. Now turn. Let's go. Hang on. Hang on. Is it is it actually backwards? It is actually backwards. <laughs> Alright. You don't know until you know, and now we know. Um Let's undo that. You can press Ctrl and Z to halt the things if you need to. So is that right now? Let's see. Should be up and running. Let's go ahead and go to our destination. Gonna take a little time to spin around. Those look. Yep, those are first in the right direction now. Fine. So we have probably no need to have double mining laser. We could probably just put one on the inboard. We don't know until you know, now we know. Still waiting for some crew. For these weapons. Are we under crewed at the moment? Oh, yeah. It, su it suggests we have 21 crew. Yeah, we're getting rid of those things. Right, okay. We can't We can't be affording to... We can't afford to have the mining lasers on. Actually, no, we can. Because... Uh, where would it be? In... There. So... Rotate it around. Put them back in. Like that. But... Turn them off. Just turn them off and micromanage it. And then the crew should go to what's actually activated. One would hope. Oh, hang on. There's two crew. <laughs> We're kicked out with that. Let me just spin this round. Because we are... Yes, we are... We have two crew that are lost. Let's get a bit closer. Decelerate. Because we don't want to shoot past them. And the back on board. Okay, that was probably a bit of a terrifying experience for them. Heading over to the center point here. I like the way when you zoom out on the mini map on the bottom right, it shows you your field of view. So this is what we can currently see. That's pretty nice. Just touches like that are very desirable. Right, there's our target. Lots of stuff to mine here, but we've obviously got it turned off. But it does mean if you want to fight, you can fight. If you want to mine, you can you can mine. If you decide you don't want to do any of that and just want to travel around, then you can. So this is a slightly different ship. It's got a cannon on the front. I'm going to target said cannon because once that cannon's gone, then, well, I don't have to worry about anything, really, because it's got no other weapons. Although it has got a fair bit of health. Okay, let's see if we can split the ship in half. Actually, you know what? No, let's stop it. Okay. So we blew all of the thrusters off it. Let's spin round. Nope, no, what's actually happened is we've just blown it up. <laughs> I think it's because it's it's not on the... I think it's on default difficulty, which by as standard is... It's not on normal. Normal is one step up from this. And also, this is like level one stuff. But good for demonstrating what happens in the game. So we're just going to gather all this stuff. I'm going to head over to... Was that uranium? 
I'm not too sure. What I'll do is I'll find out. Is I'll turn on one mining laser. I'll tell the miner all of that. Oh, looks like the crew's going over anyway to grab this. Let's uh, just move the ship over. There we go. That's a lot better now that the mining laser... Oh, and it actually carves through. Wow, wow. That's, um... That's brilliant. <laughs> but you know what? I don't even think we can store all of this. I think the storage is full. Good grief, look at all that. That's a lot of storage we're using. Okay, right. Um, let's repair for a start. And we'll go for an additional storage bay at the back. Yeah, now we've got storage going on. Right, and now we can get that. And just tell them to grab it. We're already set to get it. Um, and all of that. <laughs> and the mining lasers have picked all that up. Obviously, we're not getting hassled. Later on, we'll have potential issues. And let's jump back. So I'm going to go to jump, and I'm going to select this point. And basically what happens is, if we zoom in, this will build up a charge. So we spin round, we align. Is it building up a charge? There we go. Yeah, that sounds like it's charging. God, look at all this glowy rock. I hope it's all okay for the crew to be around it. It must be. <laughs> and there we go. And we jump into here. <laughs> so you can quickly get around the place. Excellent. So we're going to hand in that bounty. We're going to go ahead and sell. What have we got? We've got enriched uranium. No, but we do have uranium. So I guess sell. Oh, wow. So 19,600 for that. It will take some time for them to shuttle this over. You can see that. Whoa, their, is that their crew? Yeah, that's their. Are they, got, are they crew or they're mining? No, they are crew members. They've got like, the spacesuits on. So we've allowed them on board to pick up this stuff. And we've now got um, a lot of money. <laughs> okay. Um, it's telling us about cannons and ammo. Yeah, you need ammo. It, it's fairly self explanatory. So we're going to leave there for now. That's been a bit of Cosmetia. Um, so far, from what I've played, I have enjoyed it. It is fairly light, uh, especially early game. And. You know, it is a case of maybe too simple for some in terms of the... Oh, I didn't realise we can see in that. Oh, no, no, they're just dumping it in there. Yeah, um, the, maybe some people would want, say, more direct control, in which case I would say then, yes, do use this direct control. I don't particularly mind the... Um, I, I can take it or leave it, the direct control. So I don't particularly mind the automation of just telling it to go wherever and it doing its own thing. Um, the building is relatively easy to get into, but it's also extremely powerful with things like um, blueprint mode, where you can make, make make a blueprint and then ask the the game to build it for you. Same as like things like mirror mode and just moving stuff around. Yeah, it definitely has its place, and also I definitely need more power and more people on this thing. But, from what I've played, which is about two hours now, I have enjoyed it, and I'm certainly looking forward to what they're going to add in the future. It seems that this is only the beginning for the game, so, yeah. But there seems to be enough here to be very much entertaining, so, yeah. It is what it is. Links in the description. If you want to see more, then by all means, let me know. I will be playing some more personally and getting back into it. I did make a ship that was ridiculous in terms of its maneuverability before, and... I found that direct control was something you wanted to do, and I actually put it down to like a really low speed because I was so maneuverable. I was out to, I was able to basically do circles around the enemy, and the cannon wouldn't be able to track. I wouldn't personally recommend that. It was very micro heavy, but the fact that you can do it is um, pretty good. Either way, I hope you have enjoyed this video, and like I say, comments in the comments. If you want to see more, by all means, let me know. And if you have any tips, suggestions, feedback, etc., then drop it in the comments there as well. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.